So this question definitely looks like a simplify question. It's only a single line long. Um, so we want to simplify this here. So the question asks for the, what real value of x is the equation above true? So we have x cubed minus 5x squared plus 2x minus 10 equals 0. Anytime you have four terms, right? So we're, we're used to seeing binomials and trinomials. Anytime we have four ter terms or four nomial, I want you to think about uh, factoring by splitting, right? So we're going to split this in half here. And I'm going to factor this side first. So the greatest common factor between x cubed and 5x squared is x squared. So I pull that out. What goes inside the parentheses then would be x minus 5, right? Because again, x squared times x is x cubed and x squared times negative 5 is 5x squared. So no, we're good there. Let me just erase that for clarity. So again, this is going to be x squared out and then x minus 5 in. And then the same thing on this side, we have this plus sign in between. The greatest common factor between 2x minus 10 is 2. And what goes inside parentheses is x minus 5. Anytime you end up with the same exact thing inside, inside of each uh, parentheses, that means you've chosen the right way to factor this. So all we do from this stage is that we group the two GCFs together in their own parentheses. So we'd have x squared plus 2. And we combine these two uh, basically repeats of this uh, x minus 5 into just a single parenthesis. So x minus 5. And then we have this equal to 0. Now we have the product of two binomials equals 0. The way we solve that in all cases is to set each one separately equal to 0. So I'd have x squared plus 2 equals 0, and I'd have x minus 5 equals 0. So I'll start with this right-hand side. So the easiest one of these two to solve is to add 5 to both sides here and get x equals 5. So 5 must be an answer. And then with this one, when I subtract 2 from both sides, I'd have x squared equals negative 2. And you'll notice that if I go to square root this, I have the square root of a negative number, which means this would turn into an imaginary number, or i square root 2. And the question, of course, will none of we'll never have answers that are imaginary on this test, but also the question tells us we want a real value. So that means our answer, our only answer to this question is 5.